Let's play Quiet, Quiet. Hey everybody, this is Brian here from Let's Play Quietly, and I am continuing my playthrough of Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One. I am going to take the souls that I earned last time from beating the boss. Uh, King Wolnir, I believe his name was, and I'm going to level up. Um, I kind of need hit points, but I'm also a strength-based character, so I'm going to put a little bit into strength, and maybe I'll do one into strength, and I'll actually, you know what, before I do that, cancel. There are some other weapons that I picked up that I want to see what I need to wield. 
what in the world is that? That looks like something right out of Bloodborne. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to kill that thing. Uh, okay. Is it out here already? Where, oh, there it is. I wonder if I can outrun it. Let's see if that's even possible. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Holy crap, no. But we're gonna try our best. Holy mother of pearl. Oh, I cannot outrun it. Thank you for telling me. Holy crap, it killed me already. Okay. Um. That is not cool at all. What the heck am I going to do about that thing? Um. It reminds me a lot of the Cleric Beast in Bloodborne. <sighs> is there anybody even hanging around here? My guess is no. Um, I may just not be of a level to deal with this thing yet. Um, I don't know why I just wasted a humanity, but I'm going to have to deal with this thing. Yep. humanity back by helping someone beat the boss. Drop a summon sign. Pay it back. And then, uh, there are some other things. Wow, see, that didn't take long at all. That did not take long at all. And then we will, um, maybe go back downstairs in the catacombs and do one of the things that I have not done yet. We 
shall see though. Okay, so this dude is trying to summon more than one. Give him the old bow. If it's his first time in there, we probably don't want to uh, go in there with no. We don't want to go in there with just the two of us. So I'm just going to chill out until he's ready to roll, which hopefully will be soon. But you'll see if this is a first timer, then a lot of times they will get killed by the poison from this boss because it really does a lot of damage very quickly. But we'll see if that's the case. Let's do this. Yep, they're not messing around. They'll probably skip the cutscene too. Yep, there you go. Put that hand down. There you go. He's going to start summoning in some friends. You'll see. Oh boy. Get away, get away, get away. Yep. There we go. This fight can go very quickly if everybody works together. We'll see what happens. So now you're going to see him summon the giant sword, which is kind of awesome. Come on now, let's see that sword. Isn't that a pretty awesome looking boss? It's a gigantic giant skeleton. Well, I'm commentating and I'm going to get myself killed. Fighting this giant in the dark is 
is pretty scary and awesome. So it's just the two of us, and we're going to have to go in here. You can see his arm. Oh, there we go. Yep, he's spitting poison right now. That's why we're staying really close to him. sword thing again. Giant sword in hand. Put the hand down. Come on. He just keeps going back to the same move over and over again. And we've just got to get to a point where we can actually Sure. 
pictures. This is a very high traffic area for summoning. Um, although I think the summoning didn't work because I would already be gone. And it's going to tell me in a moment that it didn't work. And then we're going to have to see and wait again. Yep. That's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. So let's try the toast emoji. That's interesting. You raise a glass to your uh, compatriots. So, it shouldn't be long. We should get one more summon in for this episode. In the meantime, let's admire the level design as we look at some of the architecture here in the catacombs. Lots of chains. It looks like it's from the set of Hellraiser. This must be where the Cenobites come for vacation. Uh, let's fall it apart a little bit. And uh, it could use new curtains. This person's not going to be able to summon me in either. It might be the same person who keeps trying to summon me in. So hopefully somebody new will. the same person that keeps trying to bring me in. Oh, it worked this time. Okay. This will be our last one for the night. So let's make it a good one. Um, I'd really like to beat this boss. What do we got? Veronica. Hi, Veronica. How are you? It's a pleasure to be summoned into your game, and I hope that we are able to take this boss out. Because right now, I am over 2, I believe. Um, don't just go in with the two of us. Oh, you went in with the two of us. Oh, you didn't. Okay, good. Smart move. Smart move. Yep. Let's get one more person in here. And it's not even so much because you need the extra damage to take down the boss. It's really because when you start having those skeletons and the pinwheel guys that get summoned in in the second phase of that fight, if there's three targets to split between them, that's a lot better than uh, two targets. Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right. Everybody should be very happy now. Let's well, rock and roll. All right, Veronica, lead the way. Let's do this. I love that Xan Xanathos or whatever it is uh, hat that the other Sun Pro has. And even though we've seen this cutscene like four times, it's actually still a pretty awesome cutscene. I think it's safe to say that you do not want to drink from that goblet. And everything gets plunged into darkness. So, here we go. keep missing. You gotta watch when he rears back. Yeah. Now he's spitting poison right now. And you kinda have to be right in the middle of it. Because if you're not... Oh, we don't want to do that. Hold on. Not right in the middle of it. Okay, we got two bracelets down. That's good. Um, I think he's gonna go for the. 
the sword now. And he's crawling up the hill. Yep, spit and poison again.